I'd like to share with you our experience in making RED a practical and effective tool to reduce emissions of deforestation in the Brazilian Amazon. As you know, deforestation is very important in terms of producing greenhouse gas emissions. And this is a picture of the state of Amazonas in 2005. Uh, this is uh, now what you see in 2050. And this is, in a very simple way, uh, a description of red. Red is preventing this yellow from happening. And our approach in, uh, in Amazonas is to uh, take into consideration that people don't deforest because they're stupid or ignorant or irrational. Deforestation is a result of an economic logic, and we have to understand the minds and values of people that live in the forest uh, to change those uh, attitudes. And our approach is to make forests worth more standing than cut by investing in oil production, fish, uh, furniture, nuts. We increase the value of standing forests as compared to uh, cut down. We uh, use a lot of educational uh, tools uh, focused mostly on arts, using th circus, theater, music, so that people really understand what are the challenges in terms of maintaining the forest, what are the advantages of maintaining the forest uh, uh, standing. And this is a very important component of our activity. Um, the main program we uh, sponsored is called Bolsa Floresta. It has four components. Component number one is to invest in income generation. Number two is to invest in social programs, especially education. Number three is to strengthen grassroots organizations. And number four is to uh, pay a cash uh, to each family. And in, in a simple uh, description, these are the numbers, 70,000 per reserve per year uh, for social, for income generation, and then a, f a monthly payment to women, and we focus this payment uh, uh, on women because in general uh, they can use this debit card more wisely uh, than, than men in looking more after the uh, future of their uh, families. Uh, so, in this cash payment is a, an important incentive because it provides short-term uh, benefits that creates credibility. And these are pictures that describe uh, some of the investments in Brazil nut production, transport boats, schools and headquarters of grassroots organizations. So uh, these are simple investments but make a huge difference. Uh, the governance structure of the foundation is based on uh, on a board, very active board. Mr. Furlan, who is uh, here with us, is uh, chairman of this board. Uh, Professor Markovic, also. We have a professional staff, I'm the CEO. And then we have a big emphasis on transparency uh, and accountability with uh, Deloitte and Price. Um, we have implemented the largest RED program in the world, covering some 10 million hectares with uh, 7,000 uh, families participating. We also have uh, accomplished the first validation of a RED project in Brazil and the first in the world to receive a gold standard. We have created an endowment fund uh, and an annual budget with the support of Amazonas government and then private sector such as uh, Bradesco, Coca-Cola and Marion Hotels. Uh, we've also engaged in support of pu public policies uh, and international cooperation uh, with uh, Mozambique. Uh, the Juma project, uh, in which I briefly mentioned, it's a partnership with uh, Merit International. It's a creative solution by which Merit pays uh, $2 million and uh, also uh, invites its guests to offset their emissions by paying $1 per night. I'd like to d sh highlight the point that forests are worth more than simply carbon. Uh, biodiversity, poverty, deviation, and rainfall is uh, very valuable. Uh, what you can see here is water vapor being pumped across the globe, and tropical forests play a key role in pumping uh, this m moisture uh, flow. I'd like to finish with uh, three challenges. Uh, first is that uh, we can and we should expand lessons learned from success stories such as the Juma project and the Bolsa Floresta. Uh, we should make uh, 
Latin America a world leader in, in red because there's a great opportunity for that. And uh, we should also uh, invite companies to invest in red projects and my, it's my vision that each large company should invest in at least one red project so as to help kickstart one of the most promising approaches to reduce deforestation and eradicate poverty in the developing world. Thank you.